Right, you guys, we're back. We're back for some more college football reactions. And today, we're going to continue looking at the 2019 Heisman winner, Joe Burrow. I looked at his stats, I looked at his highlights in the previous video, but what we didn't really hear is him speak in an interview type setting. So today I've got two videos to watch. The many sides of LSU quarterback Joe Burrow. This was brought out in October. Then we've got another interview in November where he talked to ESPN. And then we've got his interview in December where he wins the Heisman Trophy. I've, so I've hand selected these, these interviews, these videos to watch because I think they're going to give me the greatest perspective on his season and, and you know, what he's like as a person. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Video number one. The many sides of LSU quarterback Joe Burrow. Burrow to chase. Burrow to chase. What a lethal combination. And he's got six. It's too easy right now for Joe Burrow. I feel like there's two me's. Me that's on the field and the me off the field. After Joe makes the touchdown, he comes back out beating his chest. I think when you get on the field, you have to flip a switch if you want to be one of the greats. Right I'm not surprised him. he's doing that, man. He reminds me of Richie Rich. They were talking behind me the whole time. Legit, look at him! It is, it's Richie Rich! So I just thought I'd give him a little innocent wave after I scored that last touchdown. You're the latest in a long lineage of athletes in your family. Mm. Your grandmother, Dot, what was her claim to fame? 82 points in a basketball game in high school. I wish there was some film of that one. We read about that in the previous video. When you think of the fact that Kobe made his claim to fame scoring 81 and Dot dropped 82. Never thought about that. Is my grandmother better than Kobe Bryant? I don't know. Your two brothers. Both played at Nebraska uh, along with my dad. What interest did they show in you, Joe? None. None. Any message to the folks back in Husker land? Nope. <laughs> Bro, he had to bide his time, man. He went to Ohio, he didn't start at LSU. Went to Ohio State, had to sit out for two years. And then lo and behold, when it's his turn to take the starting role, Dwayne Haskins comes in. So he says, nah, stuff that. I've got to go and make my own path. And he switched to LSU. There's a lot more to Joe Burrow than quarterback cartoon fan. <laughs> I'm a big cartoon fan, absolutely. Spongebob, Looney Tunes, all that kind of stuff. The cartoon character most like you. Ooh. Richie Rich? Squidward. <laughs> Squidward? Squidward from Why? Squidward's fucking depressed. Spongebob, yeah. Why? A lot of things anger him. And I try not to be that way, but I, that happens to me sometimes. Joe Burrow. Irritable. Oh, the student of science. Yeah. You remember your answer to the last topic you had Googled when we asked you at SEC Media Day? Superluminal time travel. What is it? So the thought is that if you go faster than the speed of light, time actually slows down. That's the gist of it. And so you can go through time forward and backwards by doing that. Difference between a black hole. Wow. Wow! Huh. You really could. You'd have to be traveling, traveling in a direction somewhere. Faster than the speed of light. Around the Earth, maybe? If you could travel around the Earth... Fuck. Oh, God. Nah. <laughs> I'll leave it to you, Burrow. Hole in a white hole. So the black hole sucks everything in and the white hole basically spits everything out. That's just... Burrow keeps it, dives into the end zone. What was the perception of LSU's offense? Stone Age. How would you describe your offense right now, Joe? Explosive. 48 passing touchdowns. LSU looks unstoppable. If I were to have said to you, 
a year ago, Joe, 54 points a game, leading the nation. Honestly, what would you have said? A year ago this week, I would have told you you were crazy. And then when, you know, after the season we got we got going in January, I said, that's all? So many playmakers, great coaching staff, great scheme. You know, the sky's the limit for us. What's up? Thank you so much for watching. Hey, what's up? Don't forget to subscribe. Well, actually, I already am. Um, okay, guys, that was just a short one. Uh, first look at Joe Burrows, how he speaks. Um, I'm going to call him Richie Rich, but that's all good. Um, okay, well, he probably is going to be rich. And he probably will be able to have his own McDonald's in his own house. And he probably will be able to take golf carts around and play tag in golf carts and all of that fun stuff that was legendary in the old Richie Rich story and made me feel very inadequate as a kid but uh, excited for the future and it really put you know those those financial values and goals in, in my head but lo and behold I sit here at age 29 and the importance of money in my life is extremely low and that's that's been a change that's happened probably you know slowly over the last three or four years and so now I sit here with everything I need and no desire to accumulate material possessions anymore. Anything more than I need. You know what I mean? Unless it's going to be computer equipment, unless it's, I guess, I don't know, something to do with sports, sports gear, computer equipment. I haven't bought clothes in fucking ages. I've got a car, it's paid off, I've got a house. I've got everything I need, man. And why are we talking about that? I don't know. Anyways, guys, that was, <laughs> that was the first interview of the day we've got two more to go the next one is the next month prior to the game against Alabama it's a lengthy one I want to hear what makes him tick and I hope you guys do too so if you have enjoyed the video hit the like button if you want to subscribe please do and I'll see you here shortly peace out Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I'd run the mile